Uh, John Harris says K traded pound USD today at 10 a.m. p.m. UTC. It was scalping trade confirmed the M30 trending trading edge was dead cross band walking and broke support. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, as long as you get the confirmations, that's fine. Yeah, the most important is to get the confirmations to get the right entry timings to buy or sell. Never jump in just because the market is going up, up or down. We have to be always uh, look for the confirmations and take trades. So let me check it pound USD. So pound USD is let's see daily is ranging because simply the market is in between Kijun Sen and Kumo, and four hour uh, is also ranging because uh, it actually came back to the Kijun Sen after the market started off here on the Kijun Sen, it broke the Kumo and broke the resistances, it, it went all the way up until 5 p.m. yesterday and then today, or actually yesterday and today, it retraced back to Kijun Sen. So yeah, today is bearish, but this bearish trend may not really last long. So in this case, simply I will stay away. Yeah, so he says he took the trade on 30. So 30 shows downtrending, so you can follow. And uh, yeah, still it's downtrending. It most likely breaks the resistance or support, sorry, and keeps going down. In the short term, it's bearish. As long as price is below the Tenkan Sen, we can continuously look for a selling edge as an intraday trade. So yeah, depending on uh, your trading style, you can be flexible in terms of which time frame to take. For me, I prefer to take the daily or the 4 hour time frames and get the confirmations. But if you follow 1 hour or 30, then most likely that will be an intraday trade because within the day, most likely you will have Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, then look for an exit timing. All right. Yeah, thanks so much everyone for joining today. Good to see you. Okay, so now let me check some other charts. I had a request about the Bitcoin. 